all this is dr mobin sayed welcome to the cafe let's have a discussion so john you had asked to do this chit chat so here we are questions about ba4 5 and ba12 one their escapes so happy to answer what i can let's have it all right i'm i'm scanning the comments to see if there is a question generally i think we are we can be on the same page now that these vaccines are now now done the previous infection is done as well now we are on the mercy of this virus fortunately not being as bad john snyder says sheltering um john says do you know if the flccc has looked into those new strains to update their protocol i am not sure i would think they may be looking at it but i'm not sure so luffy will continue to work uh, against this as well the only thing is as the variant becomes faster then the drug has to be faster as well so prophylaxis may have a role in there but i don't think higher dose is going to be uh, important and i don't think higher dose should be taken Rima says my dear friend has a wbc of 1 thanks to chemo what for him so protection for them um they can have uh, blood donations as well but generally just staying safe yeah dr hader is very good luffy uh, weekly or bi weekly you are very welcome so patty says do they have prepared dandelion teas can you buy it looked at all around my yard not a one <laughs> let's see dandy lion tea there roasted dandelion root traditional dandelion leaf and root organic dandelion here it is patty just wanted me to google it for her <laughs> so alicia says i would like to hear more about coconut oil and brain fog so yes i'll talk about it coconut oil is a must for brain fog Old school says my daughter buys dandelion coffee. Uh, Alexander said, "Is it going better, Doctor Bean? You mentioned fatigue and difficulty to focus earlier this week. Yeah, all set. I became okay yesterday, or the day before yesterday night. And how did I become okay? Maybe it was just the exposure for a couple of days. Some folks thought this um, this may have been allergies, but my allergies are a different kind. This was different. Um, I had taken one Allegra and a couple of uh, Brufins, and that's it. And a couple of times. You're very welcome, Patty. <laughs> Sky Frog is <laughs> Sky Frog. Are you quarreling? John yes it is the leaf extract correct Alexander says good news thank you So do you have rumble or odyssey lectures anymore so good question let me tell you a story So odyssey is still synchronizing my lectures on youtube over 
Rumble, I was so mad at them for two reasons. One, remember, they were just letting people, they actually, by I think, or what I read, they by policy let people copy so that their content uh, becomes bigger. And so my lectures were copied by so many people and they were uh, running ads on them and so on. And I tried to ask the person who was running my lectures to say, please take them down. And he deleted my comment. So then I reached out to Rumble and they didn't respond. And I reached out to them again and they didn't respond. And so after three, four times shaming them that why do you allow this? Finally, they removed it. But that made me so unhappy. The thing that made me really more unhappy was that these channels, there were a couple of channels who were doing this. Their names were US Patriot or US Blah. And I felt so... Um, distrustful of the platform where people of this type that they would say I'm a US patriot and then they're stealing so um, I just decided that I don't want to work with Rumble so I sent Rumble an email saying cancel my live subscription so you can only go live if you pay them so I asked them to cancel it this is three months ago and the next month they had a charge again on my card I sent them another email saying, please cancel this. And then the next month I had a car a charge again. I sent another email uh, and I had a charge again this month. So this time I tweeted at them as well, but no response. So finally I sent them. So I have been in payment industry for a very long time. And there are some very important legal rules around payments. One of them is that if your customer reaches out and says, stop my payment, you got to stop the payment. Similarly, if you ask the customer that I'm going to take $10.99, then you can only take $10.99. You cannot take one cent more or less. So I reached out and I said, look, guys, I know how payment industry works and the laws. What you're doing without responding and continuing to charge is illegal. So even if it is tiny amount of money you're taking from me, this simply means you're doing this to a lot of people and that would become a class action lawsuit. And I would... Uh, one, reach out to SEC, and second, I would reach out to um, Better Business Bureau as well, and I'll complain about you. Within half an hour, their VP of business development sent an email that, hey, I would love to talk with you. So I called them, and they said, we looked at your account on, on YouTube. You are a big YouTuber. I said, no, I'm not a big YouTuber. I think they, it was just trying to make me happy. So he said, you're a big YouTuber. We would actually like you to be on our uh, platform. Uh, what is the issue that you're leaving? And I said, one, you allow the content to be stolen, and there is no remedy for that. And secondly, there are people who do spams, and there is no way to stop them. And the third is your own conduct. So he said, OK, here is what we can do. Come over to Locals and Rumble. We will moderate any users you're not comfortable with and um we will even give you the uh, the subscriptions for free um, it's a very tiny amount so it doesn't matter they give me that for free or not so i said okay i'll i will work more on that side he said would you like to just bring on all of your content here and i said i'm not yet comfortable with that but i would do some more over here so this is the Rumble story, John. So at the moment, Rumble Live is off and Rumble YouTube synchronization is off. I would turn them back on maybe this weekend. <laughs> Sky Frog says, aside from COVID-19, what is the next virus we should worry about? I think this was the worst type that we could get. I hope we shouldn't worry about any other virus. Rene says, uh, smell and taste is not back. So you got to work on that. Retrain your uh, olfaction, plus look at the FLCCC protocols. It is so funny that a couple of protocols over there are either led by me or mainly contributed by me, but people keep sending me those protocols and saying, do you know this protocol? Dr. Z says, bad weather. 
how are you doing dr z welcome so rima says what happened to the lovely funny dog from argentina cavalio i do not know i can reach out to him and invite him once more to see what is going on there yes dengue is pretty bad there are many viruses that are pretty bad and not and not not here alexander says what is up with north korea let's see what is going on with north korea north korea covid four days ago june 12 three it always it always wins north korea may declare covid 19 victory only a month after north korea acknowledges a covid 19 outbreak was sickening its people the country may be preparing to declare victory wow it's only been a month North Korea has avoided the mass deaths many expected in the nation with one of us worst healthcare system, little or no access to vaccines. North Korea official virus number experts believe have as much to do with propaganda. Propaganda. So, don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're doing good. I wish they're doing good. At the end of the day, there are human beings over there as well. Um, I need to... I hate these ads. Um, Dr. Z says I'm doing great very good good to have you <laughs> John Snyder says I want to bet on measles I don't want to bet on anything no measles, no smallpox no chicken pox, no monkey pox nothing we are done with the viruses So Dan Robinson says, we'd like to know more about coconut oil since it has saturated lipids. Yes. So uh, either, so maybe not today, but tomorrow, maybe earlier in the day, I'll discuss the neurogenesis and the various diets and lifestyle that would help with that and the mechanism of neurogenesis. I think that my talk tomorrow will be one of the best so far on the internet because I have gone through so many of the talks and they all are looking at one part or the other and nobody has given a complete picture. So it will be fun. And I would do a separate talk about coconut oil. <laughs> True seeker says, Dr. Bean lays down the law. Thank you. <laughs> Janet says, is Paul Bork missing? Yeah, he's not here today. So we'll ask him. So John Snyder says, what do you think the US's approach to combat these new strains should be if you were the head of CDC? So I would stop the current vaccines. So just stop it. One. Second, the data that I, that I do not know, and based on that data is the uh, formulation for the plan, is what is the severity? ICU. Uh, hospitalization deaths and then the link to the severity is this people with comorbidities or not and age groups once i understand that then it is possible to reach out to certain subgroups to see how to protect them and that could be vaccination that could be if i was the one making the <laughs> decisions you know that all those drugs that are getting people cancelled nowadays will be available over the counter so I would have a totally different approach to this. The long COVID will be free to work with. The vaccine injury will be insurance free to work with. These vaccine companies will be asked to create a pool fund where they put the money that is used to help with the research and pay for the insurances of the people who are injured. So there were there is a lot of things that can be. It, they, these are low hanging fruits. It's not even you don't have to be a genius to think that these things should be done. It's just that corruption creates a mask beyond which you cannot see. Bambi says, I missed the first video, had fallen asleep in my chair. Get ready to listen in bed now. Hope you're all okay. We're all doing well. Um, 
enjoy let me know if it scared you at all hopefully not yes so texas says we me we need a talk on plus so we would do that kind of a talk tomorrow of course my talk cannot be as good as dr z's we'll have dr z do that but tomorrow we'll just talk about uh, neurogenesis and the drugs and the lifestyle Skyfrog says, where do you see us in 10 years? In the mirror. <laughs> so I, if you just talk about us, the Cool Beans community, we will continue to expand. I think at least the way I look at our engagement is we are, so there are, everybody is health conscious. So I can't say that we are more health conscious than others. Everybody is. But this group has another unique feature, all of us. And that is that we like to go deeper in understanding the mechanisms. If you see, there are many other who know a lot of remarkable statements about current situation. They watch a lot of uh, uh, good presenters. But if you talk with many of them, they cannot go deeper. They would have a lot of surface knowledge but they cannot do the thinking part. And I think we are the only ones outside of the medical field. So inside the medical field, these things should happen. Even they don't happen that much there too. But outside of the medical field, we are the only group that learns and knows medicine to this level of depth. This is like somebody who becomes a... <laughs> a secret friend from inside the castle and opens the doors to see inside. That is what's happening. So I think if we continue, I would like to expand this to have books and to have website and to have sub stacks and more teachers who can teach in this way, more designers. So I always think of this university to build. So that is where I see us in 10 years. So Rima says, please talk about what you're seeing now after the stresses of the past few years and what coping skills help and how we can help others. That's a beautiful question. And I very often think about it because in the last couple of years, we know that all of this started with a very innocent uh, attempt to say, I'm going to clarify this little letter. And from there, we kept doing this work. And on the way, the amount of hate and the amount of resistance and complaints and uh, you are aware of some of the, the lawsuits and everything, I could not even imagine that people can do that. And I could not imagine that there can be medical field people who will derail knowingly general public and I am even when I am around folks who may know those folks I'm always very vocal that these uh, bullshitters have caused so much of confusion in the system that people actually cannot figure out what is right from wrong that one that was terrible and then I was not even I could not even imagine that people who would follow these false gods would then go and attack someone to say, I just don't like what you're saying. So in the beginning, I used to be more nervous about it. I used to be a more, I was more bold as well. And I was more nervous as well. Now I have become numb to these things. There is a lot of financial damage. I, I think I've never had this much of financial damage in my whole life that I had now. Um, but I have become very composed about it. The biggest lesson I have learned is, which I should have learned earlier. So you learning that at age of 50, you can call me silly to learn so late. 
that is that it is impossible that if you utter a sentence, there will not be 10 people who would say you're wrong. You cannot utter a single sentence without someone raising their hand and saying you are wrong. And so there is no chance of saying something that will resonate with everyone. That means one should just say that that resonates with a group. And that was my biggest, um, biggest challenge because I never wanted to. Because during the pandemic, I thought it doesn't matter who believes what, doesn't matter who has what political leaning, doesn't matter who is what, you know, faith. We all have to understand this thing so we can protect ourselves. So now I have become much more um, groupy. <laughs> so now we, I have become more group oriented or tribe oriented. Now I want to have those folks in the tribe who have some benefit from it and not just because it's a pandemic, but actually because they're keen in understanding medicine and then applying it to themselves. So long winded answer of saying, learned a lot. <laughs> it also told me how innocent I am about uh, people's behavior. <laughs> Skyfrog says, Bean Island <laughs> Tribe Unite. I have a Powerball ticket. Absolutely. As soon as you, <laughs> you win it, maybe you can <laughs> keep in touch. <laughs> John says, use the megaphone. So, megaphone. Mm. Megaphone effect. <laughs> I should put that near me. Adi Bean says, Dr. Bean, fate decided it was time for change. Surely great things will come to you in the future. Absolutely. And um, what I really, really became proud of, that during this time, I sort of took my family through a very strange time where we almost became alien from each other because I would just be here in this room preparing for the whole day and then presenting and talking and discussing. And then after this saying, all right, here's the dinner. I'm <laughs> hitting the bed. And so for two and a half years, that is just separation. And then uh, we still staying same way before and my family giving me that, my wife giving me that kind of uh, latitude. And then we are still the same way. And not only that, then people like Steve Kirsch writing disgusting things about her and then his followers talking even more disgustingly and ignorantly and like illiterates that I didn't even want her to know what happened. So with all of that, uh, here we are. So that was, for me, that was very heartwarming that when I decided to do this uh, work, she was supportive. I actually probed her a couple of times on the way during this two and a half years to say, do you think I should stop? And she would say, no, continue. We need this uh, help. M. Gregory says, this is the only YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Marima says, Hina is amazing. Yes, she is very good. <laughs> I love them. He is just, uh, although he, he did apologize, we talked. He apologized. He removed that post. He put the post of apology, which I think is a quite a brave thing to do. But the damage that he did is still people took snapshots of his post they circulate even till today they circulate them 
they even till today they curse me they curse my wife they they wish ill on her they wish ill on me they they wish harm to us uh, one of them i remember when steve did this there was a twitter thread dedicated to discussing that how better it would have been if dr mubeen's wife would have died then he would have woken up correctly to become anti vax and they were talking about that <laughs> and it was so interesting some of them said we shouldn't do this and the others said no no we should do this and uh, if we if he doesn't get a personal shock how will he wake up from his sleep so there was just it seemed like i had hit the you know bottom of the barrel the my brother used to give me an example which was very interesting he used to say so when i was uh, in medical college he was 4 year older to me and he used to say that if you take milk and you churn it you get the beauty the product the butter on the surface the cream and if you take shit and you churn it you get the shit on the top as well so i in certain cases i felt what have i churned so fortunately my biggest support became my wife and this group many times i would complain and say what are people doing and they're writing this and then this group here we will come together and say okay forget about them just keep moving and um i remember also there was a time in very recent future uh, past where dr bean underwent a lots of stress because of these complaints and i requested the folks that please buy and i got a lot of uh, support and dr bean could survive that time so denver says where does your wife get her strength that's an interesting question i should ask her <laughs> because uh, she had been actually the one who suffered through this was her because i would be preparing the lecture and then i would be presenting and i'm talking and i'm busy and i'm at, uh, with friends they say the definition of a friend is the people who meet at least once a week we have been meeting every day so we are seven times the deeper friends so i was with friends she was spending time alone so if someone was to be feeling bad or bored or anxious it should have been her but she had been giving me support so she is powerful and <laughs> dan robinson says naive dr bean cell has matured to either the dr bean helper 1 or helper 2 which path are you headed so the um, i don't like cytotoxic side uh, humoral side antibodies they are also interesting both paths are good <laughs> Randolph says, "I hope a love for you has helped provide a little comfort against the terrible treatment you have experienced." Absolutely, I could not have continued if, generally, I didn't have these friends around me. So, just like I was doing some service of pulling data together, presenting it uh, as a friend, similarly, I received that friendship back as well. Bambi says I don't have any once a week friend in real life more like every few months friends yes yes siddhartha says humorous humoral side is humorous yes 
Chusi ka said there's just sorry you've been kept sane throughout these two years. Even when I may have felt different about something, I've always respected and admired you. Thank you very much and thank you for being here. And this is actually fine to have a difference of opinion and then to opinion is especially um, to be to have differences within my own family. If I just walk down right now and have my son and wife and I say tomorrow we should order food from outside. I am sure that all three of us would have different opinion. One of them would say, no, I don't think we should do that. And the other one would say, OK, we should have Chinese. Meaning even within one family and a topic which is not controversial, opinions are different. So differing opinion is fine. But um, you saw how people had become so polarized and charged. But good news, we were able to, through that time, toxic time and evil time because of the virus, we were still able to navigate and help and offer services. As Leela La Smith says, as a member of the medical community, I salute you, my friend. Thank you very much. And salute back to you as well for the service, which two and a half year was very tough for medicine as well. <laughs> Denver says, friends usually go out for drinks. What's your drink of choice? So I have always been the bore who I don't drink uh, anything alcoholic. So whenever we'll go out uh, to bars or others, if you're visiting New York with the team or when I was in Massachusetts and visiting California, San Francisco with the team, I used to take Coke and everybody else will be drinking. So Coke. Yes. The force is strong here, <laughs> correct. Brandon says, do the finding of BA4 and 5 escape allows us to make inference on the effectiveness of B and T cells for severe outcomes? Does BA4 and 5 change the conclusion in this regard in the Kathri study? No, so the BA4 and 5's escape simply means that if we are banking on previously trained immune system to quickly, rapidly attack these cells, these vi viruses, then that's not going to happen. We would spend a few days to make more antibodies to attack them. That will happen, as was the case in the um, study that I discussed a couple of days ago. They did say that S2 was immediately produced. That was the older training. But then S1 got produced as well in a few days, and some people in that time became severe. That is the kind of behavior that would occur more often now. So the, the next question really to ask is going to be those who were previously vaccinated or infected, and if they get BA4 and 5, what is the percentage of those who will react badly to it? <laughs> Elizabeth says, love the force. Yes, force is strong here. Barbara says, no alcohol, sharp intelligence in a healthy brain. Thank you. We actually were a very small, not very small, now it's a, now when some people are angry and they say, you say this to 600,000 people, you don't know what you're doing, then it hits me that we are not a 100,000 people tribe anymore. It's 600,000 here and 415,000 on Facebook. So combined million people. So yes, it's a big tribe now. So force is strong. <laughs> John says, Dr. Bean is designated driver. Yes, always. <laughs> hmm. Rima says, I stopped to walk several days ago. I was on tapered LD. Could that have some teary feeling effects? Yes, absolutely. Fluvoxamine has that. So even uh, I hope you are doing some tapering, but still it can do it. There is one more thing. And that is that um, the drugs like fluvoxamine or drugs that may have psychiatric even low-dose naltrexone, 
they could cause neurogenetic differences in that that transient suppression of neurogenesis can actually cause depression. We'll discuss this tomorrow. John says, is the last audit here pending? No, so um, that is still, the lawyers are going back and forth and we'll see, I think we'll finally have a good outcome for us, but that is still being done. That caused a lot of damage though, a lot of financial damage, but John says, uh, please take advantage of the offer from locals and rumble. There is so much room for you to grow there. You have the perfect business model with your wonderful content. Okay. So they have had me connect with a person named Manon. So I would reach out to them tomorrow and get on locals. My, my thinking was they said local can be paid. And my thinking was so far for two and a half years, I cultivated this group in a way that I didn't want other than asking for support, I've never asked for actually fees. I didn't want it during the pandemic. It looked wrong. Um, so then whenever I think about fees, I feel that people would say, you're trying to now milk the system. And um, that is what makes me hesitant, but I would do it. And I'm not <laughs> trying to take advantage of anyone. Um, Mice Engineer, CH says, is it possible to DM you, Dr. Bean, please? Yes, yeah, so you can DM me on Discord or on Twitter. Dan Robinson says, the kindness and quality of your character, that is a glue that keeps the cool beans motivated and engaged. Yes, we have become a very, I have very often thought about it that is there a group like us so we have dr john campbell he has a followership much larger group um we have met cram dr sahul very good presenter uh, we have ninja medicine we have a couple of others too i don't think there is anyone with so much mechanistic knowledge i'm talking about the group under our belt the understanding of immune system there are still some concepts that are still not touched for some time now understanding of immune system which means understanding of inflammation which means understanding of chronic inflammation which means understanding of the cancers and the infections and body's behavior and chronic diseases no one no group can claim that they have this level of understanding. That, I think, is a beautiful outcome of this time together. Um, so there was a question about... Seox tube says, for those of us who were vaccinated, one or two shots and didn't take boosters, are we reliant on antivirals and the various protocols for defense for the long term? So if we were infected and we were able to handle it, for example, I was two Moderna doses and then the virus and I was fine. So hopefully, and the Moderna doses were about eight, nine months ago when I got the infection. So I don't think vaccine did much to it. Um, if you are able to handle it, then ideally you should be able to handle it fine. Otherwise, um, if you ask the healthcare authorities, they'd simply say, okay, take more boosters. But we are otherwise just reliant on the protocols and our own body. Yes, <laughs> Luffy is downstairs. Let's see if Luffy can. Oh, I wanted to. So I wanted to do something dramatic tomorrow or in the next lecture. So I'll do that today with you. So the lecture that is about the neurogenesis. 
there are many ways to promote neurogenesis and interestingly when neurogenesis is happening in the brain then we are less depressed depression one of the cause of depression is incorrect neurogenesis and so uh, one of the ways they create neurogen or promote neurogenesis is by novel environments novel environment or something unique for example for mice they create a lot, they give them a lot of toys and they give them lot of, lots of things to run in and the stairs and stuff and the neurogenesis goes really high so daily routine things non surprising things daily boring <laughs> environment around us even if it may be very exciting for someone else but for us so i thought i'll give you a change in the environment today so i was going to do it with the lecture let's do it today as well don't tell anyone we did it okay so check it out <laughs> how is this so this is my so the these are the lights correct and i have a light here which is alexa light and here is another light which is also alexa so this light gives a little blue hue on the background and this light over here gives me this little warm reddish tint and then i turn on the bigger lights and this is the composition of the whole thing so i was thinking tomorrow when i'll do that lecture i will do this and we'll see how does it look <laughs> let's see so part says beautiful jody says it's a lounge light um grain of sand says candlelight ambiance yes somebody said yikes as well elizabeth said yikes why elizabeth uh dr dj b yes dr bean after dark yes denise says ha ha <laughs> fluffy bean says club bean uh Texas is memories what sky frog <laughs> Susan says bridge in the star track Tracy says uh, orange now yes so you you know that i can actually change the color of these lights so let's do that <laughs> so before my lectures i play with these lights so if i take this color and i go here check it out <laughs> now it is red my wife makes fun of me when she sees me playing with these lights so then we can do this and this we can even do this and create something like this <laughs> look at that pick a light yes so i can actually change these lights from my phone the green is not something that this doesn't look great to me but blue and red and yellows are nice <laughs> iggy pop says ask alexa to play some cool music so did you know that i got copyright struck and i had to remove that part i had to remove a few seconds 10 seconds more on the both sides and i was so angry about it so with this correct so that novelty of the environment is something that you have to figure out for yourselves as well and that also triggers neurogenesis randolph says you write about this group being unique and the live interaction is so great and important which is also very interesting there are very few groups who actually interact like this sky frog says need to use one color to get more views okay which one <laughs> lisha says oh no <laughs> guys love the led color changing options <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> bob channel says some of these aren't very good yes agreed denver says music <laughs> uh 
critical third says red light district no <laughs> Correct. Correct. So the monitor is here. Rima says you need a disco ball. Yes, I need a disco ball. Correct. Yes. So the Dr. Bean environment is going to become the neurogenesis. <laughs> so with this, how about we break for today? Critical Thought says, is Neurogenesis a rock or jazz group? I think it's a rock group. I like rock. Jazz is good too. Roller Girls. Thank you. Elizabeth is laughing. Texas says, Dr. Bean lit up in rotation like those aluminum Christmas trees. <laughs> good night all. We were going to break as well. So... Shifting color lights, yes. Str parse stranger things, yes. So with this, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you would like to support this work, there are links in the description. You can use them to support. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.